Can you turn the Everyone right to go? Thanks guys. Um, I guess I just wanted to, uh, to make a few comments um, before we go to you guys for some questions. So if you'll just bear with me, I'm a little bit nervous, so um, I'll start off. Um, there's been a lot of speculation around my future and everyone has had an opinion on what I should or shouldn't do. I understand the media will analyse my decision and the reasons why I'm joining the Gold Coast Suns. To be clear, I want everyone to understand why I've made this decision. Firstly, I have to tell you that the decision I've made has been an incredible difficult one to make. I was born and raised in the Geelong area and I came through the ranks as a Geelong junior and as everyone knows, I have long family connections with the Geelong Football Club. But eventually, after weighing up my playing and professional f future and all the things I feel I still have to achieve in the game, I came to the conclusion that it was time for me f for a fresh new challenge. For those that know, me, that know me well, they know that I thrive on the challenge and perform my best when faced with a new challenge. After three grand finals and two premierships with Geelong, I am honoured to have achieved an enormous amount with the club and alongside some terrific blokes. I leave the club with memories that most footballers will never share. I gave my all for Geelong and will be forever grateful for the support of the Geelong Football Club and its many great fans for being such a huge part of my life. But now this is all about the challenge of joining a new team and a new and unique opportunity to be part of something special in football. It's an opportunity to be involved in something f from the beginning, to help shape and develop a young talented playing group, one that has the potential to be very successful and achieve great things. While the talk will be about money, my decision was, sol was not solely based upon, um, on money. I don't shy away from the fact that money is attractive, especially for a player at my stage of his career. But the challenge of reinventing myself both personally and on the football field is far more exciting to me. Again, I'd like to thank the Geelong and all the staff, the members and the fans. I'll always be grateful for the support I've received and I will cherish every moment at the football club I had at the club. Finally, I'd like to thank all the players at the Geelong Football Club. You boys have helped me become the player I am today. I'm so proud of the success we've shared as a team and also the friendships we have formed. But now it's all about the Gold Coast Suns, what I think will be an extraordinary journey, one I'm ready to give everything to. Thank you. Happy to take any questions. There's a lot of people in the room, so we'll try and do this in a coordinated way if we can. Gary, yeah, what was the most difficult element of the decision? Um, well, I think, as I said in that statement, it's probably, probably leaving the boys that, that I've played nine years of football with. Um, you know, I've, I've made some great friendships down there. Um, and, you know, to be honest, you know, you, you, you play football to win premierships, but, you know, the, I guess the closeness you get with your teammates, um, you know, th that was probably the most difficult thing. And, and, you know, I've got in contact with a lot of them um, today and, and, um, and just had a good chat to them and, and the good thing is that you know in the end it's only it's only a game and, and those friendships are going to continue hopefully for the rest of my life. So. Did you speak to Bomber? Um, no I, I didn't get the opportunity to speak to Bomber obviously with everything that, that happened um, yesterday but um, I met with the club this morning and, and um, told them about my decision um, and yeah I'm sure I'll, I'll catch up with a lot of people. Did you finally make up your mind Gary? Yep um, I, I made my mind up yesterday. Um, I went away with Lauren for four days um, up to Hamilton Island and uh, went up there and, and, and spoke to a lot of family and friends over the phone. Um, you know, it's obviously something I've, I've been thinking about a lot over the year and, and, and talking to a lot of people, um, but I really needed to get away and, and I guess just speak to those people that opinions are important to me and, uh, and make sure this was the right decision and, and I feel it is and that's why I'm here today. Um, no, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, it's. I wouldn't say money's more important than loyalty, but at the, at the same time, as I said in my statement, you know, um, money is a, a big part of why I've moved. But at the same time, it's not the only reason. You know, I'm. I'm, I'm looking forward to the new challenge. Um, you know, it's, it's a club starting from scratch, and and 
you know, that's something that appealed to me to, to get up to a club that is starting from scratch with a lot of um, young kids, a lot of the young, talented kids, and getting up there and, and hopefully helping them to become great footy players and great leaders and, and, and help the club become a successful club. So, um, Well, that's, that's something we haven't talked about too much. Um, but leadership is something I've really worked hard on over the last three or four years to become the best possible leader I can. Um, and, yeah, I, I guess I want to get up there and, and, and get out and, and, and prove myself as a leader and, and do the best I possibly can. And, and uh, if the guys decide to give me the captaincy, that would be fantastic. If, if someone else is better for the role, then um, I'll be just as happy for them. How heavily is the, the decision that's taken so long weighed on you this um, Look, I don't think it's been something that's affected me too much. Um, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people that... I find it quite easy to shut things out of my mind and concentrate on what I've got to concentrate on. Um, and as I said, yeah, it's been something I've thought about a lot, a lot over the year, and, and spoken to a lot of people about it. But um, you know, I knew that um, you know I had to concentrate on the, the year of football, and that was the most important thing. And um, yeah, I, I wasn't sure when I was going to make my mind up, but um, yeah, I, I come that, to that decision yesterday, and, and um, I, I feel it's the right decision, as, as hard as it is. Um, you know, as I said in the statement, I've, I've grown up following the Geelong Football Club. Um, you know, they've, they've been a big part of my life, and um, you know, I'll always have a spot deep down inside for the Geelong Football Club. But um, you know, it's, it's about the Gold Coast Suns now, and, and I'm looking forward to that challenge. Um, he's, he's always been a person that's been very supportive, no matter what I, what I do. Um, and he has been in this case as well. He's, he's someone that I have spoken to a lot over the phone and a lot during the year. Um, and in the end, he said, he said exactly what I said to you. It is a game, mate. It's about your happiness and, and what you think is the right decision for your happiness, um, not just with football but away from football as well. And, um, yeah, I'm sure he's sitting at home and supporting me 100%.